Former Tata Sons chairman Cyrus Mistry and a co-passenger who died in a car accident on Sunday were not wearing seat belts as per a preliminary investigation, police sources have said. Prima facie, it appears the driver lost control over the car due to overspeeding which led to the accident, officials said. Jharkhand Chief Minister Hemant Soren will take a test of his majority today amid allegations that the BJP is engineering defections to topple the ruling coalition. Hemant Soren will take a trust vote in a special one-day Jharkhand Assembly session. MLAs of the ruling coalition flew back into state capital Ranchi yesterday on a special flight from Congress ruled Chhattisgarh where they were sequestered at the state guest house to prevent any poaching attempts. There has been eye-popping levels of corruption in the Madhya Pradesh government's nutrition program for children from Russian transport trucks that were discovered to be motorcycles to wild exaggerations of beneficiaries. A confidential 36-page report by the Madhya Pradesh Accountant General, accessed exclusively by NDTV, has found large-scale fraud, irregularities in the identification of beneficiaries, production, distribution and quality control of the ambitious free food scheme for school children. At least 10 people, including children and women, got injured when a high-rise spinning joyride broke down and fell at the Dashera ground in Phase 8 area of Punjab's Mohali on Sunday evening. The victims received head and neck injuries and are in a state of shock. A heavy downpour continues to battle Bengaluru, submerging many areas in flood-like conditions, prompting authorities to dispatch rafts to evacuate affected citizens. The most affected areas include Belandur, Sarjapura Road, Whitefield, Outer Ring Road and BEML Layout.